Welcome to Beauty and the Biohacker, where we explore the latest tools and trends in self-care, aesthetics, and peak performance to help you live your most beautiful life from the inside out. I'm your co-host, Rachel Varga, a board-certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 19,000 rejuvenation treatments performed on thousands of patients. And I'm Katie Moore, a self-proclaimed biohacker with three years of self-experimenting in the space of health and wellness technology. I'm on a mission to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness through my YouTube channel, Katie Type A. So join us as we sit down with some of the biggest innovators in the health space, the movers and shakers of the wellness world, and unpack some of the biggest secrets in the skincare and longevity space. We are Beauty and the Biohacker, and we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode on the Beauty and the Biohacker podcast with Katie and I. We're so thrilled to have you joining us here today. We're grateful for each and every one of you taking this crazy journey of life with us. And in today's episode, Katie and I are going to cover our favorite skin and life biohacks and what we are looking forward to the most in the future. So Katie, why don't you just kick things off and share with everybody what your top biohacks for the last year to have been. Yeah, I well, it's so funny, Rachel, because I was looking back at some of my previous videos, you know, I do, I always talk about these various gadgets and products in the health and wellness and biohacking space. And I kept realizing like, the whoop strap and the aura ring have been consistently like the biggest contenders in the health and fitness tracking field for like the past three years. So I started doing some digging and I was like, is this, you know, do we have any competition coming to the forefront here? I really would love to see, you know, a little bit of, you know, some, some type of newer product come out, maybe bring prices down. Well, it turns out that we might actually see that happen this year. There are two smart ring companies that just uh, debuted kind of at CES, which is in uh, Las Vegas in January, which one of these days I am planning to be there because it just seems like so much fun. It's, you know, a consumer electronics show. And so, The first company is called Circular. They're planning to do their pre-launch in February, and it's going to look a lot like the Aura Ring, except it has these interchangeable bands. It also has a smart assistant and a, like, different, like, smart control, so you can actually, you know, use it as an alarm clock or use it to, like, you know, send text messages. Really, really cool stuff. Like, they are definitely trying to go toe-to-toe with Aura, and they're not going to have a subscription fee. So I think that they know the market that they're going after, and that's kind of exciting. And then there's this separate company called Movano, which is a smart ring designed for women. And this is so great to see because I think we're finally at this turning point where all of these devices that were typically designed for men by men, look like devices for men. I mean, I kind of was not a big fan of the whoop strap for the longest time because it's just so plain looking. And even the aura ring, I mean, it's aesthetic to a degree, but you know, there it lacks a little bit of that style. And this Movano ring is really designed to like be that stylish alternative to aura. And what's especially cool about this. And I, this is all kind of still up in the air, unfortunately, because, you know, they have to do clinical trials and FDA stuff, but they're looking to add like continuous blood glucose monitoring, which would be non-invasive as well as, as cuffless blood pressure monitoring in the ring. Now, Apple itself has not even done this yet. So to see something like that in a ring that's designed for women I I just am, I would be over the moon to see that. I think it would be huge for consumers, huge for the whole wearable industry. So we we will see these, both of these are reported, hopefully come out later this year. And so I am very excited for some other companies to kind of finally throw their hat into this crazy ring arena. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I will echo what you said about the aesthetics of a lot of these biohacking gadgets. They might not be the aesthetic that I would traditionally go for. I personally wear more like rose gold. Yes, I do like some silver, but I prefer rose gold. So to wear... Um, like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll echo that, that the aura ring is very masculine looking. It, it does look like a male wedding band. Now that being said, freaking love how the aura ring helped me, um, you know, really take charge of my health. And now I'm definitely loving the eight sleep for a lot of, and I learned about it through you, Katie. And just in case anybody is like, oh, where do we get our top picks? Head on over to beautyandthebiohacker.com forward slash favorites. And the eight sleep has really changed my life. We're going through crazy climate changes over here. We're talking record-breaking temperatures here on the West Coast of Canada. And I couldn't sleep. We had awful smoke. So obviously I had all my hypo air filters going and like each room to help, but it was the temperature that was just killing me. And so the eight sleep was able to keep me cool. And it, it really was the one thing that helped with my HRV. That was the one thing I seriously struggled with. And my hubby and I sleep at different temperatures. So it was great to be able to have that option. And now in the winter time, we had record-breaking lows. Never has it been minus 10 degrees here. Like we are not built for that here at all. Like we don't live in homes with AC here or heat to be able to manage that. So being able to have the eight sleep was great. I don't even have to have the heat on in my room because the mattress pad keeps me warm and it tracks my sleep. And it was really similar to the aura as well. Uh, some of my other favorite biohacks have, you know, still been the somavatic. I, I like having it in my room, my office. I did test it with everyone in my family with the BioWell device. So there was an element of human biofield support there. Uh, I'm always really interested in some of the uh, electromagnetic EMF mitigating technologies. I think that moving forward, those are going to be really great. My top skin biohacks has actually been in the supplement world. There's been just huge innovation with collagen, omegas, and antioxidants, which if you're tuning in, those are my top three supplements that you need to have to have great skin. So actually, uh, Glycidin, Metagenics are some of my favorite brands. I actually just did a study for Glycidin, which is a French-based company, 15 years, third party independent lab test. I got to have Francois Weeks, the founder and CEO on here, because I actually did a study looking at a photography of, I think it was six individuals, and how they looked even just three weeks after was astounding. More like this beautiful golden hue to their skin, less puffiness around the eyes, less diffuse redness to the corners of the nose and to the cheeks, less pigmentation across the board. And I presented this just the other day, actually, my findings with another uh, top Canadian plastic surgeon. And he had the same things with his photography too. So it wasn't just my camera and his cameras. Like it, we literally have the same things. Dermal rolling will always be one of my top skin biohacks. But word to the wise, do not just look at the free stuff on YouTube. I actually don't show how to do dermal rolling in my protocols and advanced protocols um, online for free because of liability stuff. So skin camps are a great place to get access to that. But just reach out to Katie and I. She does an email uh, beautyandthebiohacker.com, info at beautyandthebiohacker.com will get to you. So the yeah, dermal rolling is still going to be my top pick. Uh, this mobile device, which allows different peptides to actually penetrate into the skin, into the dermal layer with one application is pretty revolutionary as well. I did my last treatment two days ago. Literally after I do my dermal rolling, I use a specific uh, tripeptide serum. Then I use this device. Um, this is taken from a company out of South Africa, and they've met the, made this technology available in clinics for the last 20 years. And only four years ago in the UK, did they finally launch the at-home option. And Canada had it first before US. I don't think you can get this directly from the US, but I can ship to you from the US. So that's pretty um, awesome for like plumping the skin, allowing for your peptides to be better absorbed. And the at-home peel game. So doing chemical peels at home using super clean products. I found this epic amino acid one. We can link everything up in the show notes to help everybody out uh, to find it easier but honestly, I haven't done a single thing in clinic, skin rejuvenation-wise, since last April. And I feel like my skin's actually never been better. 
So really focusing on your at-home skincare, your dermal rolling, your supplements, at-home peels, integrating the biohacking works. Um, in our interview with Viome, I did test my biological age at, and it was nine years younger than my chronological age. I am so proud of that. So it just goes to show you that all of these different layers can really help us out. Do you have anything to add to that skincare wise? Oh, do I ever? Well, two things, and we'll start with the biological age since it's kind of top of mind. I have been following David Sinclair, who's the author of Lifespan. He has his own podcast right now. He's talking about a new at-home mouth swab, basically like methyl epigenetic test. So it would be looking at, you know, different biomarkers on your gene genome, epigenome rather, and it would be like so affordable. You could basically do it every day or every other day. He's looking to bring this thing down to five to $10 a test, maybe even as low as $1 a test. And so the whole point of this is you could get these tests and then over the course of a year, over 12 months, you could actually start to quantify some of the things that we're doing on the biohacking front and see if those things are making a difference in your biological age. Because I think there are so many of us that are following the time-restricted feeding, we're doing the hot, cold therapy, we're you know, trying to do the HIT training and all the things that we have kind of grown to know as you know, longevity protocols, so to speak are they working or are they not are you know and so wouldn't that be amazing to be able to access this kind of information so easily and affordably i think the there's a lot of great epigenetics tests out there right now toolbox genomics is one of them uh, inside tracker you know has a biological age as does viome and so it's great to see these you know different companies kind of popping up but to have something that would be so cheap for the consumer would be amazing because it it's also a habit too. It's like it encourages you to think about testing. So I'm really excited. It's called Tally Health. There's a ridiculously long wait list right now to join, but you can, you know, check that out. And then the other thing too, I, I would say about skin that I'm particularly excited about is just being back in colder weather and having access to a cold pool. So as listeners of the podcast may know, I was living in Hawaii for the better half of 2021. And wow, my skin, my very, you know, fair complexion and, uh, and sort of, you know, acne prone skin really started to act up and irritate me. And I have a feeling it was just a little bit of the heat, the humidity, you know, and it, and Rachel has worked with me extensively on trying to mitigate some of that, you know, might have also been just stress as well. But since coming back, I've noticed that my skin complexion is so much better. I'm still doing all of Rachel. It's like, basically, I just kind of upped the ante with Rachel's protocols in Hawaii, like maybe using the magnesium scrub a little bit more. And now I'm back to a good baseline where I'm like using it once or twice a week, derma rolling, you know, three or four times a week and doing cold immersion and hot sauna. And just the ambient temperature is so much colder. There isn't humidity and moisture in the air. And so I just feel like my skin is so much healthier, so much brighter. It just is not, I'm not getting those same acne issues, which is crazy, right? Like, but I mean, it, in hindsight, it's not that crazy. Like when you put your body or your microbiome through that kind of stress in a new environment, things happen, things flare up. Yeah, that's really interesting. You you mentioned that. Um, just thinking about like my acne journey because I'm acne prone too. Devine Jane said that acne is a sign of youth in an interview, uh, but acne isn't really fun, right? Uh, but when I do get a breakout, you know, it's crazy. Before I'd have to get probably a laser treatment once every one or two months to deal with the post acne hyperpigmentation (PIH) and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation rather. So that's like when you get a breakout and this sticks around for weeks, even months. But now because of all the biohacking stuff that I've been employing, um, thanks to learning with Katie, right? I did a, a consult with you and you helped me figure out like Aura Ring or Whoop Band and all this stuff. So that was really great. I encourage you guys to reach out to Katie to help you figure out like optimizing your sleep and stuff like that. But my, if I get redness after a breakout, it's red for literally three days and that is gone now. So 
It's also really interesting to note when your skin changes. So for me around the holidays, when I have a little bit more like sweets and alcohol and things like that, I, I pay for it about two weeks later. So if you're traveling or if you're like having special events or whatever for birthdays, celebrations, just keep in mind that maybe two, three weeks later, your skin's going to kind of like go through like this, like freak out purge. (laughs) And so keeping your inflammation lowered as much as you can is really helpful. I personally think that my body is designed for colder weather. I freaking love the cold. Uh, My heater core on my Land Rover went. So I legitimately was four by fouring. I did it for like three days. Uh, It was minus 10. And we're talking like wearing three pairs of pants, three pairs of socks, like two sweaters and two jackets, like a kid, you not like that is cool. Like, I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but my skin was just loving it. Just, but the winter issues are like, you got to keep things well hydrated and doing more of the at home peels and dermal rolling and supplements just like really saved my skin over this last season because I love being outside and enjoying the great outdoors. But where I'm kind of circling to here is you kind of have to figure out which climate better makes you feel better and that your skin responds to. And it might be the case of your body feels better and maybe you're in less pain in one situation or whatever, but your skin does better in another climate. So it's, it's kind of like you just basically pick your poison. (laughs) Rachel, I actually, that makes me, okay. So this, I'm going to put you on the spot here, but this is kind of like a skin microbiome question for you, because I'm curious, like they, Naveen has been on the podcast before you guys can check out uh, his interview with us in the show notes below, but we, he talked about the microbiome basically turning over every three months. So, you know, you can sort of expect throughout the course of the year, a couple of times a year, your, your microbiome is going to change a little bit, you know? And I'm curious if that also applies to your skin microbiome, which is your largest organ. Like, could we potentially see the, you know, your skin microbiome changing faster when you put it into a completely different state, sort of like what would happen to your internal organs and your our, your internal microbiome, put, you know, going into a totally different climate, food you've never tried before. If you're in a tropical climate and you, you're you used to cold, what, what does that duration pathway look like? I 100% think there's something to this. Um, and that's just simply talking about leaky gut. So in conversation with Wade Lightheart, the CEO and co-founder of BioOptimizers, he referenced a Harvard study when um, he was interviewed and actually talking about like, okay, Harvard's done a study that leaky gut's a thing. And it's funny because I have a family member that's Harvard trained and was totally poo-pooing leaky gut. Like we we had this like heated conversation. It was really funny that it's now ironic that that study to validate it actually came from the same school he graduated from to get his medical degree. The irony of it all. Uh, but 100%, there would be a link to uh, inflammation permeating out of your gut and throughout your body when you're going through a shift. So that comes to is basically like inflammatory markers leaking through the little spaces between your cells and going through your body, like systemic stuff. So yeah, you just always have to be focusing on keeping that inflammation down. So how Katie in this crazy mess of a world we're in, some places are better than others. I'm in Canada. I'm in California. We're, we're, you know, it's hope you guys sympathize. Some of you sympathize with us because we're both in like really not great places right now. (laughs) Well, I think, well, I think the world is going through a shift right now. I think that there is, is. there is somewhat of, I don't, it's, it's hard to say, but like we've now been two years into a pandemic and I think that we're all looking for the end point. We're all looking for that timeline. And I think there isn't one. And so we're all in this somewhat of a limbo state mentally. And, you know, there's challenges that come with this. And and there's benefits too. I love working with my fiance at home. I love, you know, some of the things that have happened, you know, this podcast happened because we both were working from home. And so that being said, yes, things can be crazy and things can be stressful. And 2022 started out a little rocky for me too, physically. Like as I was telling you, Rachel, just a couple of health problems that were unexpected um, related to like teeth and neck stuff. And I'm not going to get into that, 
But what I will say is helping me keep my head above water is actually getting my head below water. You know, like what I did there. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I enjoy waking up like crack of dawn and being, it's still dark out. I can see the moon and the stars. I go set my sauna and then I do that for about 20 minutes until my body is heated up. And then I go dump or jump into our non-heated pool. So it's, it, you know, can range anywhere from like 35 to 40 degrees because it's winter now. And just doing four minutes of that deep breathing and then coming out, I, I it just, it sets my entire day up for success because putting yourself into a challenge like that, at, like right after you wake up is, you know, you just feel like, oh my gosh, it's such an accomplishment, almost akin to like, oh, I did laundry today. So at least I can have something to check off my list. I also have to say, and this is a total tangent has nothing to do with biohacking, although I do think it has to do with mental acuity. This new game came out called Wordle, which is uh, I, Rachel, you got to get in on this if you're not already. It's an app and it's basically you play a five letter word each day. And it's, I'm not going to go into all the rules because I don't want to bore you, the listener, or anyone else out there. But if you know about Wordle, you know how addicting it is. But it's really fun. We've created a Slack community, Jasper has, my fiance, around sharing our stats and I, it's something I look forward to because there's a novelty in it and you only get one word a day. And there's something about having just one thing. Like if I could have just picked endless words all day long, like that's like Instagram, right? It's like just feeds into that dopamine loop, but you only get one shot a day and it's just so much fun. So that's been part of like my healing journey this year. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. Games are always fun. It's all about having fun, right? Finding joy. And I think that we're, we're just honestly, we have too much happening in our brains right now. It's like this threat, that threat. Like we're constantly in this like fight or flight. I hate to say it, but it is a reality that I am in. So what's actually really saved me is doing my cold therapy. And so when I get in that cold water, literally I got in it, I shared it on my Insta. We had to like ax like three or four inches of ice and I lit a fire behind me. It was a distraction technique. But when I get in the water, what it does to me is it makes me be in the present moment. So if there's anything I can encourage you all to try and do is to try and reduce your um, mental, psychological, emotional stimulation and kind of live in a way that's a little bit more basic. That's why I love doing my off-grid days once or twice a week. Having fires outside when you're like making and stoking a fire, it's so peaceful and calming. So getting back to the basics, like cooking your food over a fire, getting more time in nature, doing cold therapy has really been survival for me and also nervous system regulation for the cold therapy sauna. I love going to upgrade labs, Victoria for my sauna sessions and all of that. I forgot. So. so you, I mean, you also are so lucky because you have access to upgrade labs where they have all of the, you know, biohacking stuff really available for you right there. Have you done a hyperbaric oxygen chamber yet? I have not, but why don't we table this conversation and we'll talk and do a about part two maybe? Yeah, let's do a part two. We wanted to keep this one kind of like bite sized mm -hmm. with Katie and I. Um, I do want to definitely do another one with this. And maybe next week, let's just record another one and say, um, let's focus a little bit more on red light therapy as well. Cause that's something red I do therapy, every day. Hyperbaric and yeah. sauna. And we can talk about sauna versus infrared sauna too. hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Like the traditional really fun. Yeah. Awesome. So stay tuned listeners. This is going to be a really great part two series coming up for you. Absolutely. And be sure to find out everything we talked about, all of our favorite biohacks and options over at beauty and where we've actually curated a list of like Katie and I approved favorites. So when you also use those links, their affiliate links, so it continues to help us show up and create this free content for you guys. And there's also some bonus uh, promo codes to help you guys save a couple dollars. And yeah, we're just so grateful for each and every one of you and your support of Katie and I on the channel here. We're all just kind of taking this ride together. Shoot us an email, info at beautyandthebiohacker.com and let us know if you have any biohacking request reviews or topics you'd like us to focus on in our next episode. But the next one's gonna be in red light therapy 
and sauning is going to be great. So thanks everybody so for excited. hanging out with us today. Thank you. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Beauty and the Biohacker today. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a comment or share it on your social media account and we'll give you a shout out. And don't forget to head over to beautyandthebiohacker.com to check out all our episodes and our favorites page where we include our curated list of products with special discount codes just for you guys. And while you're there, sign up for our newsletter because we're sharing some exclusive content and giving ways you won't want to miss.